Hi everyone and welcome to today's drama hospital reaction. Ah, a lot of stuff happening today. Alright, so I'm gonna start with Milo and Lulu. So Dante punched Milo, which was I love it when Dante punches people. I really do, but Milo did exactly deserve well I guess he kinda did, but he did it. He was being the good guy. You know. <laughs> he he really was. I love Milo. But um oh Dante. I have all the feels for Dante. Like, what are they doing to our favorite couple, everyone? What are they doing to our Dante and Lulu? Because it's not okay. Dante and Lulu, you know, you already took Robin and Patrick from us. Now you have to mess with Dante and Lulu. Not fair. And now, apparently, Dante's moving in with Milo and Lulu. And Milo's just sitting there going, when did I marry the two of you? Like, go be married somewhere else. Although he probably wants Lulu to stay. And, you know, you gotta give him props for, you know stopping the kiss. I mean, we all have a bunch to say about Milo, but at the end of the day, he really is a good guy. So, Nicholas and Elizabeth. Alright. So, I'm not particularly fond of Elizabeth. She is nowhere near my favorite character, especially what she did last year with the whole Jason thing, okay? But, even I subscribe, even in real life, that even if I don't like someone, I still think they deserve to be happy. Alright? The same goes for fictional characters. So that's really where my point of view comes from. And she's single and she has the right to be with whoever she wants as long as it's really in her heart who she wants to be with. Without any outside pressure for anyone, whether that be Nicholas or AJ or any other third party. And, you know, Nicholas was really right when he said AJ was acting all possessive and like she was his property. And even if her and AJ were like boyfriend girlfriend he still wouldn't have a right to treat her like she was his property because nobody belongs to anyone else okay like I don't care how much of a couple you are you don't belong to that person and if you have to if you feel like you have to reach out to that person's you know opposite sex friends and tell them to back off like even if that person had a crush on Elizabeth, like Nicholas did, like Nicholas did have feelings for her, but then you have some trust issues within your relationship that you got to figure out, all right? You can't be going to someone's opposite sex friends and be like, yo, stay away from her. Even if, like, your feelings are like, like, even if it's, you know what I'm saying? All right, that's, that's it for now. Um... I think, and now Nicholas is making moves on Elizabeth. I think she just needs to figure this whole thing out for herself. Like, just take a day, like, and just figure out what she wants. Not what anyone else wants for her, what she wants. Alright, so Ellie and Maxie. In the beginning, I was like, get Ellie fired. Okay, I can't stand, I mean, Ellie's just being a busybody at this point. I mean, I guess we can sort of see that she has good intentions, but still doesn't give her the right to violate people's rights, okay? I don't care how founded your intentions are. And now that the secret's out, like, Ellie is gonna tell Spinelli, like, does she realize that that would probably mean the end of her and Spinelli, and that maybe Spinelli and Maxie would want to get back to her? Like, is she thinking like that, or is she too naive, okay, I use that word very loosely, but, I mean, when things like this, you're telling your boyfriend that the former love of his life is carrying his baby, I'm sorry, it just doesn't seem like the smartest idea in the world, um, now to go to Spinelli, it was nice to see Lauren Frank, I, I, not, um, Betsy Frank again, not Lauren Frank, I wrote Lauren, I did not mean that, but I'm glad, I'm happy to meet Lauren Frank, and who was at Betsy Frank's house at the end, now, they said they recovered a body from the, you know, Franco murder, but how do we know they really did? And, you know, I would not be adverse to seeing James Franco on my screen again. I mean, I do have his picture up here on the wall, but I keep it out of the frame because I know a lot of people wouldn't want to see him. But I mostly just have it because I love James Franco, you know? Not the character. His character was very messed up. Uh, so AJ and Carly... So AJ viciously murdered that lamp in the beginning. That poor lamp was so innocent, it had no idea what was going on. <laughs> that's literally what I said. Like, that's what I took away from the scene. I was like, that poor lamp! But AJ, Carly, good job, guys. This seems like a smart idea. <laughs> I do like that. I, I could see them together. I would be on board if they wanted them together. Because I was in the beginning, and when they were that fake couple, it kind of made me happy. And then with the whole way the characters were interacting with each other, I was like, oh, this isn't going to happen. But now it looks like it might happen. And especially if Elizabeth catches them together. Oh, my God. Right? 
And Monica's reaction to Liz coming at the door. Great. It was great. If that whole thing between Monica and AJ wasn't awkward, then seeing Elizabeth and oh, it was it might have made my day. All right. Well, that's what I'll leave with you. Leave you with. I'll see you tomorrow for no more general hospital. And don't forget to hug your pets. Bye.